Ever wondered how to make a delicious one-pot Chinese chicken and rice at home? Well, you're in the right place. Today we're exploring the art and simplicity of this classic Chinese dish. It's more than just a meal, it's a testament to the rich history and global popularity of Chinese cuisine. This one-pot wonder not only tantalizes the taste buds, but also tells a story of culinary tradition. Stay tuned as we delve into the ingredients needed and the step-by-step -step process of creating this savory dish. The perfect one-pot Chinese chicken and rice starts with the right ingredients. First and foremost, we'll need a quality whole chicken, cut into pieces, and jasmine rice, known for its fragrant aroma and sticky texture. For vegetables, we'll be using bok choy and bell peppers, adding a crunch to our dish. Mushrooms will also make an appearance, offering an earthy flavor that beautifully complements the other ingredients. Then, we have our seasonings, soy sauce for that classic Chinese taste, a dash of sesame oil for its unique richness and aroma, and a blend of five-spice powder to elevate everything else. Garlic and ginger, our aromatic duo, will be lending their distinct flavors to our one-pot wonder. And let's not forget about the star anise and dried red chilies. They'll be adding the subtle sweetness and a kick of heat, respectively. Now that we have our ingredients ready, it's time to start cooking. Our first step in this tasty journey is to prepare the chicken, and how we do this will greatly influence the flavor of our final dish. First, we're going to clean the chicken. This involves washing it under cold running water. Some people prefer to use a little bit of salt or lemon juice in this process, but it's not mandatory. Just make sure to rinse it thoroughly, as this will help to remove any potential bacteria. Next, we're going to cut the chicken. It's important to cut it into bite-sized pieces, which not only helps it cook more evenly, but also makes it easier to eat. Remember to use a sharp knife and a stable cutting board, and always be mindful of your fingers. Once we have our chicken pieces, it's time to marinate them. The marinade is where we infuse our chicken with flavor. For this particular dish, we're going to use a mixture of soy sauce, ginger, garlic, and other spices. Mix these ingredients in a bowl, then add in your chicken, ensuring every piece is well coated. Now the secret to a delicious chicken dish is in the marinating time. The longer you allow your chicken to marinate, the more intense the flavor will be. Ideally, you should let it marinate for at least two hours. But if you're in a hurry, 30 minutes will do. Just remember, patience is a virtue, especially when it comes to marinating. While waiting, you can also take this time to clean up your workspace and prepare for the next steps. It's always easier to cook in a clean and organized kitchen. Finally, after the marinating process, you'll notice that the chicken has absorbed the flavors of the marinade, it's now ready to be cooked. But we're not there yet. With our chicken marinated, we are ready to move on to the next step. And that's cooking the rice. But let's save that for the next scene, shall we? Now let's turn our attention to the rice. The rice is a crucial component of our one-pot Chinese chicken and rice recipe, and it requires a bit of preliminary care to ensure it cooks to the perfect texture. We're aiming for each grain to be distinct, slightly sticky, and wonderfully fluffy. Start by measuring out the rice. For this dish, we'll need two cups of long grain rice. This variety is traditional in Chinese cooking and lends itself well to the flavors we're building. Pour the rice into a large bowl and fill it with cold water. Now it's time to wash the rice. This isn't just a rinse. We're aiming to remove the excess starch, which can cause the grains to clump together during cooking. Use your hands to gently swirl the rice in the water you'll notice the water becoming cloudy. This cloudiness is the loose starch being washed away. Drain the water and repeat this process two to three times until the water is relatively clear. This is a labor of love, but it's worth it for the final result. Now that the rice is washed, it's time to let it dry. This is a crucial step often overlooked. By allowing the rice to dry, we're ensuring that each grain can absorb the flavorful broth we'll be cooking it in, rather than being waterlogged from the start. Simply spread the rice out on a clean kitchen towel or a large baking sheet and let it air dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. While the rice is drying, this is a great time to check on our chicken and get ready for the next steps. But don't rush the drying process. Remember, patience is a virtue in cooking. And it's these little steps that elevate a dish from good to great. So there we have it. Our rice is washed, dried, and ready to transform into a mouth-watering component of our one-pot wonder. This attention to detail will pay off in the final texture and flavor of our dish. Now that our rice is prepared, it's time to bring everything together. We're now ready to combine our ingredients and start the magic. The first step? It's time to saute our chicken and vegetables. Warm up your pan over medium heat and add a splash of oil. Once it's hot, go ahead and add the chicken. 
we're looking for a nice golden brown sear on all sides. This not only cooks the chicken, but it also adds a deep savory flavor that will infuse our dish. While the chicken is browning, let's add our vegetables. We've got some diced onions, minced garlic, and a handful of vibrant bell peppers. Stir them in with the chicken and let them soften, releasing their natural sugars and blending their flavors with the chicken. Next, it's time to introduce our rice. We've already cooked it, remember? So all we need to do now is to mix it in with our chicken and vegetables. Be gentle as you stir. We want to keep those grains intact. As you stir, you'll see the rice absorbing the flavors and colors from our chicken and vegetables, creating a beautiful, appetizing blend. Now, for the seasonings. A little bit of soy sauce for that classic umami flavor, some oyster sauce for a touch of sweetness, and a pinch of five-spice powder to give our dish that distinctive Chinese flair. Stir everything together, ensuring the seasonings are evenly distributed throughout the dish. Finally, we're going to let everything cook together. Lower the heat to a simmer, cover the pot, and let the flavors meld. This is the part where patience is key. The longer the ingredients cook together, the more flavorful our dish will be. This is where the magic truly happens, as the ingredients combine and transform into something truly delicious. Now, all we have to do is wait. Our delicious one-pot Chinese chicken and rice is almost ready. We're at the final stretch of our culinary journey. The fragrant aroma wafting from your pot is a hint of the delightful experience that lies ahead. The final steps in the cooking process are just as essential as the preceding ones. The flavors have melded together and now it's all about fine-tuning. If you've been tasting along the way, you'll have a good sense of how your dish is progressing. Remember, the dish is done when the rice is tender and the chicken is fully cooked. No crunchy rice or half-cooked chicken, please. A good tip is to use a meat thermometer to check the chicken. The safe internal temperature for cooked chicken is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's dig into the art of serving and presenting your dish. Chinese cuisine is as much about the visual appeal as it is about taste. So let's make this one-pot wonder look as good as it tastes. Firstly, give your dish a gentle stir to mix up the chicken and rice, but be careful not to break the rice grains. Now scoop a generous helping of your chicken and rice into a bowl. Remember, the bowl is your canvas and you're the artist. For garnish, a sprinkle of finely chopped spring onions adds a dash of color and freshness. A few pieces of red chili can give it a vibrant kick if you're into that. But if you're not into spicy food, perhaps a light drizzle of soy sauce or a sprinkle of sesame seeds could be the finishing touch. Presentation is an invitation to the eyes before the stomach, so take a moment to appreciate your work. Look at the colors, the texture, the steam rising from the bowl. It's a sight to behold, isn't it? And there you have it, a delicious one-pot Chinese chicken and rice, right from your kitchen. Bon appetit! So, that's how you make a mouth-watering one-pot Chinese chicken and rice. We've journeyed through gathering the ingredients, prepping the chicken, perfectly cooking the rice, and combining it all to produce this sensational dish. It's your turn now. Roll up your sleeves, dive into the process, and let the tantalizing aroma fill your kitchen. Don't forget to share your cooking experiences with us. Thank you for joining us today and we hope you enjoy your homemade Chinese cuisine. Until next time.